What's up guys? Got a video for you here. It's running where I'm wearing the same clothes as the last video. It's because I'm shooting them back to back. Uh, but right here we got the next part of my death metal collection. Don't remember what number this is going to be, but we're going from Broken Hope through In Trails. So, there you go. What we're listening in the background, Red Headed Stranger by Lily Nelson. One of my favorite albums of all time. So I guess we'll cut right on into it. First one here I got is The Bottles of Repugnance by Broken Hope. This is brutal as fucking shit, dude. Amazing, amazing record. Some people think this is lackluster, which I could see because it's not reinventing anything or it's not very forward thinking. It's just a good album, in my opinion. This is the kind of stuff I've been in the mood for recently quite a bit. Uh, this just really heavy death metal. That cover, inside art. For some reason, I'm trying to remember that this was supposed to be the original album cover or something, but I don't really remember. Uh, but it is a great record. Uh, Felching Vampires. Listen to that song. It's kind of a hilarious title for a song. Gotta say. Next. <laughs> uh, Universal Goat Tilt by Buckshot Facelift. This is like a death grind band. I don't remember where they're from, but it's it's nothing you uh, wouldn't expect from a band called Buckshot Facelift. I wouldn't expect the Baphomet kind of deal there, but it's uh, <laughs> it's quite the album. I mean. Vodka Capillary Sauce is one of the songs, Cyanide Martini, Mosquitoes Burned Under the Flesh Wheel, uh, Giving Acid to a Gorilla Who Knows Sign Language. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a lot of feeding Alka-Seltzer to angels. This is just uh, a lot of weird, weird songs. It's pretty entertaining. Honestly, I would recommend at least giving this a listen. I picked it up used for like three bucks. It's worth it. Next is a freebie I got from CDN Records. It's alright. It's like a somewhere in between deathcore and melodic death metal, I guess. Uh, this is band Calculate with the album Apotheosis. Um, it's pretty good. Nothing that I play a lot, but it is out on CDN, which is cool great label great distro there's the boys from the band there's the CD art um, some apocalyptic shit I've never been a fan of the apocalyptic thing in death metal I thought it was just kind of boring it's hot as shit in here guys uh, but yeah it's a cool cool album Next is here, Butchered of Birth by Cannibal Corpse. You guys have all seen this. I don't really need to say much about it. Next, Don't Have Tomb. Here's the bleeding. Uh, older pressing, as you can see by that there. It's a great record. This is like where they're trying to start to write songs rather than throw riffs together, if you get what I'm trying to say. It really shows. It's much more intelligent. Next, Gallery of Suicide. Another great one, probably the best Corpse Grinder album. Maybe Evisceration Plague or maybe uh, The Wretched Spawn, but this is a great one. I mean, Sentence to Burn, I Will Kill You, Blood Drenched Execution, From Skin to Liquid's a great one, Stabbed in the Throat. Every Bone Broken. Great album. Next, terrible, terrible pressing, but it is the Reconfuture Faction by Carcass. Censored shit, got it from Goodwill. It's ridiculous that this is a Goodwill. It's kind of funny to look at it like this, though. It's not, it's not repulsive. But, yeah, I mean, you could definitely tell he was reading a, uh, a biology book when he was writing this, because a lot of these words are pretty big and I don't really know uh, 
There were a lot of them mean. And I'm in college level biology. But whatever. Carcass Wikipedia Faction censored version. Next. Uh, the Anthropocene Extinction by Cattle Decapitation. Great, great record. I used to have more cattle. Uh, I traded it with one of my buddies. I probably shouldn't have, but it's alright. I don't listen to it all that much. Um, and if I do, this definitely quenches my cattle decapitation thirst. I need to buy human ore. I need to buy the killing floor again. Um... Uh, I just need to get it all, pretty much. <laughs> Cattle decap. Next is Asphyxiating on Excrements by Cerebral Incubation. Slamming Brutal Death Metal. From, I think, uh, Colorado or something? I don't know. I'm sure if somebody knows, they'll let me know in the comments. Really nasty picture there, which is just a close up of the chick in the barrel. Uh, there's the band. They kind of look how I expect them to look. It's a good album. It's kind of ridiculous because it, it is slam. That whole genre in itself is just ridiculous. Next is Death Doom and Destruction by Cyanide. Great Chicago Death Doom band. Very underrated band. Really fun. Listen. I feel like a bitch where I able to you know, the stuff like that, autopsy especially. I like cyanide. Next, Deformity by Cognitive. One of the few Tech Death, tech death albums that I like, and one of the few that I'll probably ever purchase. Great album. The cover originally is what drew me to it, because it's a badass album cover. Yeah, I bought it. I'm a big fan of it. Uh, it gets a little old sometimes, but that's just when I'm not in the mood for it. It's not in a unique leader records. Check that out if you like uh, some kind of technical death metal. <laughs> War of the Toilet Gear by Corpse Fucking Art. Uh, these guys are either Italian or Spanish. I don't remember. I think it's Italian. Yeah, brutal death metal. <laughs> with uh, this toothbrush and this bar of soap fighting each other with uh, assault rifles. And they're all over it. It's a great record. Check this out if you haven't. It's funny, but it's fun. And it's good. Good riffs, good songwriting. It's just they're kind of goofy. Like, uh... Yeah, Scooby Doom. I Come Glue. Uh, Once Upon the Motocross. <laughs> Winnie the Pooh. Spelled like poop. Um, Stop That Pigeon. Just... This is a ridiculous genre of music. Next, Blasphemy Made Flesh by Cryptopsy. I don't have the better album, which is not so vile, but this album is great. Blasphemy Made Flesh rips. Uh, they put white on the back there. Isn't it a pain in the ass to see? But, uh, you know, Pathological Frolic is great. Serial Messiah, Abagor, Open Face Surgery, great one. <clears throat> Complete departure from those stupid people bands, or stupid bands, um, Focus by Cynic. A lot more intelligent. Yeah, those, those albums are goofy. I'm talking about corpse fucking art specifically. Um, don't, get anybody, don't anybody get butt hurt, because it's goofy. But this is an amazing album. The guys from Human Era Death. They were obviously in this band before that. Another annoying slipcase. Um, Vale of Maya's on here. The Eagle Nature. Celestial Voyage. Cynic Rules. Next. Supernatural Addiction by Deceased. Awesome, thrashy death metal. Old school. Nice and high quality band photo. And a sore. Oh, it's a good fun, good fun album. It's like a this time of the year kind of album for me. So that's a good one. Next is my buddy's 
band at Nostalgia. It's their, uh, I think it's an EP. I don't even know. But it's a. Uh, I didn't know where to really put it. Because it's like. It's a weird band. Go check them out. In Nostalgia. It's hard to put them in a genre for me. This is kind of crap. But, uh. Dark Adaptation. Amineon. Melodic death metal, death core kind of mixed together, but they do it terribly. In my opinion, I'm not into it. But it could be worse. It kind of reminds me of Blood Runs Black, and I'm not into that. Next. Oh, it got out of order, but here's a Behind the Mourner's Veil by Deceased. Yeah, some got out of order. Oh, this is great. It's got an Anthrax cover on it, it's got a Tankard cover. Got a couple other ones on there. It doesn't say it right on there. Yeah, great, great EP. Worth getting. Next, self-titled DSI. You guys all know this one. It's a great one. Um, Sacrificial Suicide, Lunatic of God's Creation, Bless Samirion, Dead by Dawn, Crucifixation. You guys have all heard it. Till Death Do Us Part by DSI. Another good one. Definitely one of the highlights of their later era. Definitely listen to this one if you haven't. Uh, there's a version of this that came with a patch. It's a Glenn Benton for President patch. My buddy got it. Put it on a jacket and he doesn't even wear it. Which is confusing. But uh, yeah, so if you can, pick up the special edition if you want that patch. Next, World of Horror by Demonic Manifestation. Great, great Mexican death metal. Amazing shit right here. I love the artwork too. The red logo on the black and white zombie thing. Looks great. I feel like Incantation, this is for you for sure. Incantation, Blasphemy, Immolation, all that stuff. Check it out. Next, Brutal Death Metal from Chicago. Evangelist, um, alleg Allegory of Fear, Aborted Worship, pretty much, exactly trying to be aborted, played a show with them, picked up a CD, picked up a shirt, there you go, if you like aborted, check that out, another buddy's band who recently, I believe, broke up, uh, this is the Derangement by Discarnate, or they changed their name or something, this is an EP, Chicago, Black Thrash, Black Death, kind of, I, it sounds, it's more death metal than anything, so, but yeah, it's a cool album cover, I guess, check it out if you care to, next one, Drawn and Quartered, uh, Hail Infernal Darkness, another band that sounds a shitload like Immolation, Seems to be pretty popular to rip off Immolation. But uh, it is a great album. I definitely would recommend listening to this like old school shit. And last one. In Trails with the album Obliteration. This is in Doom Jr. Uh, again, people like a band and then they make their band that band. Or at least attempt to. Broken Case, which sucks, but. In Trails. Great Swedish death metal. Uh, the band listing is not in here. I'd have to open the book for it. But it's uh, people from the Swedish scene that you know. Check out Intrails if you haven't. So uh, that'll be it for this video today, guys. Hope you guys dug it. Catch you guys next time.